This is Metropolitan Stadium, home of the Vikings in the 60s and 70s and early 80s. We picked this stadium because we appreciate older stadiums and football history. It's actually the first thing I've ever built on Minecraft. But my helper is a Minecraft craft expert. So he had a lot to do with it. This is just the little entrance that we made. Kind of welcome and welcomes you to the stadium. <clears throat> this stadium was different to build because it wasn't your average stadium. It wasn't a round bowl or a horseshoe. It was a lot of different pieces and shapes cobbled together because over the years they had to keep adding to this stadium to get enough seating to make it acceptable to the NFL. So there's many different grandstands and bleachers. And it's still all added up to less than 50,000. So that's why eventually they had to tear it down. These are the tunnels looking out at the nighttime field. This green stand over here, it was added after the building was built to add enough seating going down the stairways here into the big old concrete hallways back up where are we at here oh, looking out onto the field we're going to do some daytime stuff here too soon maybe since it's nighttime we can go in and look at the locker rooms. Come through the dugout. Into the locker room, Fran Tarkington. Chuck Foreman, Ed Marinero, all the offense. We just did the starters. And here's the defense. We have Fred Cox was the kicker. Paul Krause. Uh, don't remember his first name. Mm, don't remember his first name. Or his. There is Wally. Wally Hilgenberg. Jeff Seaman. Don't remember him. Of course Jim Marshall. And of course Alan Page. Doug Sutherland. Carl Eller, who I met in person one time. And we're going to head into Coach Bud Grant's office. That's Bud Grant, right? I'd be scared of him, too. His desk. Yeah. Blackboards, all his playbooks. A lot of other books, too, because he was a very well-versed human being. Uh, offense coordinator Jerry Burns. His little desk. Some flower plants. Things like that. Defensive coordinator Jack Patera. His office. 
Of course, it's not as big as Bug Rants. His desk. Smart work. Things like that. Oh, the Vikings Encyclopedia. Down inside of the chest. And... Where are we at? Oh, we're heading back out. If it's... Is it daytime out yet? Oh, here's the... Here's the bathroom. Showers. There's the... Sinks. Didn't get to see the sinks and the toilets. There they are. Right, heading back out of the locker rooms. This is the tunnel to the dugout, but there's another. If you can keep going, back back into the tunnel. I'll show you the the way that the players and the coaches and the staff they get in to the stadium through this door. And there's some maybe some stadium workers there right now. Apparently he's not gonna let us out. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. He didn't want us to get out. For some reason, they've been hanging around in that hallway <clears throat> ever since we built it. <clears throat> some Minecraft experts might know. I don't know. I think it might be because we accidentally buried one of those villagers in some concrete. I'm not sure if that's why. But here's a good look at the daytime stands. Going up the steps into a tunnel. Maybe we go to the concession stand. Okay. Of course, this was 1975. So the hamburger was $2. Hot dog, $1.50. And so on. There's our worker in there, right? Yep. There's our worker. Dollar for a beer. Might be close for that time. Up the stairway. Not sure where we're going. Oh, here's a look at the outside of the stadium. It was different. They put a lot of panels in the framework, and I think they took them out according to the weather. So it changed a lot of time. So it was hard to match it up exactly. We're in the press box now. Looking out onto the field. Press boxes are all connected. And back out. Up to the quote unquote luxury boxes. As luxurious as they could be. For 1975, a hodgepodge stadium. A lot of great games in the stadium, though. Cold game. Oh, there's some some lights, the light structures, some ventilation, plumbing. Uh, a cow. Uh, I think would that be everything. Uh, the the little makeshift bleachers back here on the scoreboard, and the flag. Go men. There was a lot of. There was Coke and Winston and things like that on that scoreboard, of course, in Minecraft. It's hard to reproduce. There's some shrubs back there, too. We tried to make everything as close as we could 
to the actual place. Of course, I was never there, so I had to rely on pictures. What's he doing? He's not watering the bushes, is he? If you know what I mean. I think we're about done. That's the warning track for when it turns into the baseball field. It was a multi-purpose stadium. That looks like we're done. And if you want to know the gamer tag, it is Squidward46. Alright. Feel free to comment. I don't know how many Minecraft people would ever remember this stadium. But as a kid, I watched a lot of great games on TV that took place in this stadium. Thanks for watching. Comment if you want. Thanks.